Hello, um, guys, um, I'm back, um, at why well, I posted a video just recently, me being back, but, well, it's, I've just been moving, I moved to Minneapolis in a apartment, I'm living with my sister, kind of homeless right now, but I still have a computer and an Xbox and two TVs and a monitor, but, yeah, um, it's been kind of rough being able to post videos and stuff. I've, uh, I've been dealing with a lot of crap. Like, today, well, today I went on a field trip to University of Minnesota. And when I went there, I had two kids threatened to kick my ass. I've they didn't want to start anything, but they, I don't like when people talk shit about me. And then they started calling me Max. And then they kept on calling me Bitch. And then I, they kept on telling me to shut the fuck up. But yeah, I'm getting off topic, but... I've been meaning to tell you this. I can't. I thought of this before I was even going to go into treatment. I'm going to be, uh... I'm going to be making an album I've shown you a little hints of the album if you check my Facebook it's uh it's obviously the name but when I go when I'm whatever I post on Facebook I usually post on Facebook more than I post on YouTube but I'm trying to post on YouTube more uh the last video was kind of a bad quality but yeah um I've just been I've gotten out of treatment, so many people have threatened me there too, threatened to kill me, threatened to beat my ass for a pocket watch that I had, he asked if it was real gold. A lot of crap has happened to me in the last, at least almost two and a half months. Yeah, I was in treatment for 37 days. That was a long 37 days. But... Whatever you do, I'm being fully honest from experience of talking to the guy. DJ Joey Q, he's a lying, selfish prick. I made him two intros that took 24 hours to make. And then he said he has rights over him. To be honest, if he was smart enough, he would know. That if he tried to file a lawsuit on anyone, he would practically be fucking over himself. I'm not gonna tell him or it, but he, if you've seen the comment that he posted on my Michael Jackson vs. Oski battle cry, uh, he is selfish and he is. He's practically like Trump. He acts childish. I've talked to him personally. I would show you photos, but nah. But he really gets on my nerve. And then on top of it, he threatened to send people after me. Not a really good person you would want to talk to who would send someone after you just because you he doesn't want to pay you back for something. And then he kept on calling me a little kid, which... To be honest, he was acting like a child, but yeah, I'm just talking about what's been going on in the last few, few in the last two and a half months. That happened like right after I got out of treatment, but yeah, you, it was the same night that I posted my live set mix part one, but I've just been super busy, I'm very ticked off at the moment, I've been working on a few songs for my album. I know I've been looking for people to collaborate with on it. I do know some people who I can, but yeah. I, on top of it, dealing with school, dealing with just people around me, being kicked out of my house, 
living on the streets again. Just trying to balance everything all at once. It's just been very stressful and right now even talking about all this crap is kind of making it hard for me to talk because I can barely breathe because I'm having an anxiety attack right now. But, yeah. I've just been super, just, ugh, all over the place. It's, ugh, just, ugh. I've been getting yelled at more and more. So much shit has been happening. And of course, I put more effort into getting noticed and stuff, and I get nothing for it. It's been through my whole family, my whole life. All we do for people, we get fucked over. And of course, the fucking guy kept on saying I was harassing him because he he owes me for what I've done for him. A bunch of the people I do stuff for, I they owe me. I'm sick of people walking over my family like they're nothing. And when I make threats, I'm literally serious about them. I'm not making a threat to anyone right now, but I did make a threat to him. And he's trying to threaten me. He doesn't scare me. He obviously doesn't know the streets like I do. I've lived on them my whole life. But yeah, I'm gonna go. See ya.